What up, what up, what up, entrepreneurs? Welcome back to the 4% Entrepreneur Show. Vic Strizio is here with you every week, Tuesday, Thursday. We're hanging out, we're talking about ideas, strategies, mindset, techniques, methods, what's working, what's not working, how do you get your game to the next level, right? How do you become that top 4%er in what you do? I am pumped to be here with you. I don't have a lot of time here because I've got to go catch the plane here, so... Uh, but I wanted to connect with you guys. Hopefully everybody's doing good. How's everybody doing? Okay, we're live. Yep. All right. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Hope you are doing fantastical. We're talking about how do you, how do you um, engineer high email engagement today on today's show. That's what I want to talk about because I think there's a lot of, uh, well, a lot of people have been asking us about that. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, how do you get high email open rates? Okay, great seeing you guys. By the way, thank you so much for sharing. Appreciate you guys. If you're on 4percent.com uh, watching this show, which this is the actual like official hangout place, this place is going to get better and better. You know, we've been working on it. Uh, great to see everybody here. If you're watching this on YouTube, you know, go ahead and subscribe. Um, we're, we're also streaming there as well. Uh, but... Um, couple quick announcements. So <clears throat> there's a couple of things. So a lot of people have been asking about this, this whole email engagement. You know, there's, there seems to be a little bit of a controversy, right, about uh, what's going on in the industry and with all these, you know, email and privacy and data laws and, the, uh, you know, that, that's, that's happening, in, you know, over there, um, overseas, you know, European Union there. And, uh, and a lot of people are freaking out. You know, a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of marketers are like, oh, my goodness, email is dead. And, you know, let's not do email. Let's do social. Let's do that. Let's, let's get off the, the email platform because email is dead. Let me ask you a question. Do you use email, right? Today, have you checked your email inbox? I have, <laughs> right? I check my email. I use email a lot, okay? So email is not dead. Yeah, everybody, everybody's using email, right? Everybody's using email. Yes, of course. So email is not dead. The approach has changed, right? So the, the, you know, with the social and with regulations, with a whole bunch of spamming stuff going on, that changed just like there are laws and regulations about how you build your business, right? How you make your money. By the way, how you make your money is more important than how much you make, okay? Because how you make your money will determine you know, whether you're going to be around for a long time or not. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with email. So, if, so, so you got to think about it like this. If, 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 if there are laws that are being introduced, right, new laws, or new regulations about different things, it doesn't mean that the thing just all of a sudden dies, right? It, it just basically means that a whole lot of people are doing a whole lot of shenanigans and regulators have to step in right, email providers, Gmail and Yahoo's and, and, and you know, Hotmail's and all these, uh, you know, e email providers, they're, 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 they're creating algorithms to prevent shenanigans from happening to their users because they're all about user experience. What's Google? Google is about user experience, right? You know, that's why you can't really spam on Google. Facebook is going that direction. Instagram is going that direction. Guess what? YouTube is going that direction pretty soon as well. You know, all of these other platforms that if a lot of marketers are doing a lot of crazy, you know, things, you know, shenanigans, that stuff will get regulated. And so we just got to be smart. Okay. So you're in the 4% in the entrepreneur territory here. So I'm going to talk to you about how that works. Now, <clears throat> so, so we're going to tackle about email. How do, you, how do you have, how do you engineer, how do you create high email open rates? I'm going to give you six things. Okay, six key specific areas that you need to be mindful about, right? That will help you craft that uh, or significantly increase your email open rates. Um, and um, but before I do that, though, uh, another announcement. So a lot of you know, a couple episodes ago, I made an announcement. I said, "Hey, how many of you guys?" Or I didn't make an announcement. I, I asked you guys. I said, "How many of you guys would like to learn about um, affiliate marketing? How many of you guys are doing affiliate marketing?" Which most people are watching the show, you know, you guys are doing affiliate marketing, promoting somebody else's stuff, you know, products, programs, whatever. A lot of people are struggling though, okay? A lot of people are just like everybody else. And so a lot of people have been, like, we got flooded with requests, like, 
you know, let's do a training on affiliate marketing. I want to master affiliate marketing. I want to, I want to become the, you know, I want to rise above, uh, you know, with whatever that you guys are doing as affiliate marketers promoting these different things. And so what we're going to be doing is, okay, so there's different pawns, okay? You can go to ClickBank. You can go to uh, a network marketing, okay? Network marketing company, multi-level marketing company, okay? A lot of you guys are there in these, in, you know, in these industries or these markets. A lot of you guys are affiliate. You know, this would be like affiliate, straight up affiliate products, right? Informational products. Some of you guys over here swimming in the biz up space, okay? I want to recruit people to my deal so that I can make more money when they join my deal. Okay, no problem. As long as the deal is legit, though. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about deals here. But there's different markets. Uh, all of these, okay? Another one, another one is a CPA, which is also a form of affiliate marketing. This is affiliate, this is affiliate, this is affiliate, this is affiliate. Okay, so if, so if I can, you know, I'm over here, I'm like, all right, which affiliate pond do I want to play in? I don't have a product, which is kind of cool, right? I don't have to create the product. Nice. I can tap into somebody else's product, and I can sell that product and earn commissions on it, okay? If I can go here, there's multiple tiers, multiple levels, whatever the case is, but there's still a product. I'm still being an affiliate. You know, they have a different name for it. They call them representatives. They call them however. What else do they call them? Re you know, reps, associates, right? But it's st you're still an affiliate. Okay, you're promoting somebody else's deal, somebody else's program, somebody else's product. Business opportunity, you're 100% affiliate, right? Unless you own the deal. Um, cost per action, you go, you go promote different offers. You know, you can align yourself with companies like Apple's and some of the biggest pharmaceutical companies out there uh, in the world. You know, electronics, insurance. And you can promote all these deal, deals, travel, right? As an affiliate and you earn commissions when you make a sale or when you have a conversion or, or an action or something like that, right? Now, the big question is, is how do you win in this game? And so I've been thinking a lot about this, right? And so what we're going to do, okay? Very big announcement for everybody, okay? So you guys are going to love this, right? Yeah. Um, next week, stay tuned for the announcement. Next week, we have um, a, an industry industry-shattering, life-changing, completely brand-new way to teach you how to do affiliate marketing that has never been done before, okay? Let me ask you this. So if you, if you go to this pond right here, okay, CPA, or, or, you, or you're playing this game, or you're playing this game, or you're playing this game, okay? What is the path, okay? What's your end goal here, okay? And so what we're going to do is we had this we had this idea a while from the 4% a while ago. Uh, we said, hey, what if we give people a challenge, right? What if they go and we, t we give them a challenge and we say, you know what? Your challenge, if, you know, should you accept it, it would be to go from wherever you are, let's say it's zero, right, to earning your first, you know, to earning your first $10,000, okay? Doing whatever it is that you're doing. What would you do? Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, all the way to the to the to the point to where you generate ten thousand dollars in, you know, in revenue. Okay, doing whatever it is that you're doing. That's how it kind of started out. So this was a mix between like, you know, having you know somebody could promote their own pro pro uh, products, somebody could be an affiliate, right? Uh, and so there was a certain thing, there was a certain process that, you know, that you would need to take and you would need to to do. Because if you're at zero, okay, see, the thing is, is this. Like, if you're at zero, oh, that's a, oh, my goodness. This dude's got his head cut off or something, you know. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Okay, so, so if this is you, right, and if you're at zero right here, okay, like I was many years ago, right, and I want to get to 10K, and, and the most I have made in a month was like 2,000 working at a J-O-B, working at a job, okay, I will never, ever, 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 ever make $10,000 unless I grow myself, okay, to be worthy of 10K, okay? Plain and simple, right? Plain and simple. Your income follows your personal worth. And you might argue, you might be like, ah, oh, whatever, man, I, there are some people that are not worthy. Yes, but if you look at the overall statistical data, 
okay? People that, you know, flesh and append type successes, maybe they win a lottery, maybe somebody's not worthy, maybe do some shenanigans, it's never lasting. That never lasts. But people that can grow to that amount and stay there, this person has to be different, wouldn't you say? All right? Now, it's combination between your personal, your thinking, your mindset, your, your patterns, your behavior, along with your skills in marketing. So we had this idea, right, and we call it the 4% challenge. Uh, but that was kind of mixed between multiple industries and multiple things that people were doing. And so what we're doing for the first time ever, everybody, right, for the first time ever, we're going to have the 4% the challenge that's going to be uh, opening up for everybody. Um, specifically for these people right here. So if you are doing any one of these models here, okay, if you're an MLM, if you're, in other words, if you are an independent affiliate and you wanna absolutely crush it, okay, here's how we're gonna structure this. It's gonna be called the 4% Challenge for affiliate marketers from the 4%, and it's a daily guidance program. How would you go from zero to generating your first $10,000 as an affiliate, this is not a promise or guarantee, but it's gonna be a blueprint and a path with daily action steps that will tell you, okay, if you're promoting this deal or this deal, here's what you need to be doing as an affiliate having no product, okay? Day one, day two, day three, day four with assignments and all that. A lot of people have gone through the challenge as is, that was like version one, you know, and my goodness, thousands of success stories. This is gonna create hundreds of thousands of success stories and you guys will, uh, will be able to go through that. So this was like level one, all right? And then uh, once you get to 10K, you know what our challenge is gonna be? It's gonna be to 10X that, okay? So you go from that to 100K, all right? And then you go to 1 million, you, 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 you 10X that amount as well, okay? Now this, okay, it'll be very difficult for you to generate a million dollars as an affiliate. Um, and uh, I, I guess you could, depending on the time frame. Okay, so this could be a month, this could be a year, this could be your first ever milestone, right? So it'll be up to you. So you can, you'll, you know, you'll be able to go at your own pace. Uh, but then this is going to graduate because you go from 10K to 100K, you can probably do it as an affiliate very easily as an affiliate here. You can do multiple six figures even a month as an affiliate, I've done it. Heck, I've done a million dollars as an affiliate. But you have, to, you, have to, you have to scale your stuff up so that you start operating on systems and leverage um, you know, you leverage systems tremendously. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the 4% challenge for affiliate marketers specifically. So if you don't have a product, you have specific know-how and a plan and a visual. It's like looking over my shoulder, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm the guy that's doing this. I've never announced it before. For the first time ever, I'm gonna be announcing this, this model. Uh, and you guys are gonna love it. Yep, love it, love it, love it. All right, great. So stay tuned for that announcement next week. Okay. Um, Let's get to this email marketing stuff, okay? Because it will be kind of important for us to tackle this, yes? All right, I mean, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go quickly. So if you guys are taking notes, take, take notes, because I've got the jet out, all right? Um, okay, so how do you engineer high email open rates? Okay, why is it important? Well, industry standard right now, okay, in internet marketing, our, you know, industry, across our, our internet marketing industry, this, this community standard rates, I mean, if somebody is getting, it's basically in the single digits. So 1% to like 9%, that's kind of the average, okay? Somebody's getting like 10% email open rates, it's like, oh, that's pretty good, man. Somebody's getting 20% email open rates, that's like, dude, you're doing something right, you know? You're like really crushing it. Um, but most people are like, ah, email is dead but you just prove to yourself, and I just prove to you, to myself as well, proving it every day, right, that email works because you do use your email. So if you can increase your email open rates, because we, we teach this, right? We teach traffic generation. You got your external, you know, your, you, you got your external traffic that funnels into your, okay, through your, through your landing page that you're promoting, or landing pages, again, I, I diagram this all the time, and then you're building your email, Okay, listen to me. Don't tell, don't let anybody fool you. Email is your business asset. Having a list is a business asset, okay? This should be your prospects list, your customer list. If you have, you know, if you're able to generate a customer list, okay? A lot of people, you know, if you're an affiliate marketer, you might not have the customer list yet because you don't own the customers, right? Company owns the customers for whichever you're promoting. But your prospects is gold. If you were to, here's a, here's a simple uh, uh, proof for you, right? If com companies being valued, not by the structure or the buildings or the thing, 
the company is being valued by the, the, the income producing assets. Okay, if a company has no list, company has no customer base, no prospect base, it, it's, it, you know, it's useless, man, right? Anybody can buy a building, it's easy. Anybody can buy a, a logo and a structure and a website, but if there is no activity here, the company is worthless. Does that make sense? That's why companies with, that's why Amazon is so valuable. Why is Amazon so valuable? Okay, it's a platform-based business model, and they've got, they've got this. They've got emails, they've got registrations, they've got, what, phone numbers, they've got credit cards, they've got a customer base. That is the, 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 the meat and potatoes of, why, of what makes Amazon so valuable. Same thing with Apple. Okay, you look at any, you know, any company that's like really, really super valuable and, and you know, and, you know and, uh, uh, and just dominant figure in their space, you will find that to be true, okay? So why would that be any different? Okay, Amazon, does Amazon rely on social media much? Does Amazon say, well, we're gonna abandon our, our email communications or our, or our customer or this right here and we're just gonna hang out on social media and say, so, no, dude, that's, that's foolish, okay? Same thing with Apple. So you've got to think like the giants think. If you wanna be, you know, the, the next greatest success story, dude, if you take a look at what your people in your industry are doing, and you try to model that, if you try to listen to what all of your co-work, you know, co-fellow entrepreneurs are talking about, majority of them, 96% of them, they'll tell you email is dead, they'll tell you to move to something else, there's another shiny thing out there, and you'll be just chasing after everything. You've got to learn from the giants of the world. Okay, okay, make sense, everybody? Okay. <clears throat> all right. Okay, so, so, Dude, so we've got to figure this out, okay? By the way, I have a, um, I have a class. If you guys really wanna like, master traffic generation, conversions, uh, list building, and conversions, I have a class that you wanna check out. Um, it's an ongoing class right now that I'm doing. I'm, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be doing this for. Um, you can go to uh, 4percent.com slash traffic, I believe, and it's a, it's a master class that I'm running right now that teaches you traffic, how to master traffic, how to open floodgates of a highly targeted traffic at will, on demand, okay? How to build a hyper-responsive list and audience, okay? And then how to, how to engineer insanely high conversion rates, okay? For whatever it is that you're doing. So you might wanna check it out. Uh, but I wanna give you six key, um, there, there are some moving parts. Okay, there's about six main moving, moving parts, six gears here that we need to be, that we need to understand. Number one, okay, number one is uh, the invisible. Okay, here's what I mean by the invisible. You've got to understand what you're working with. If you wanna, if you wanna increase, if you wanna engineer, okay, high email, email open rates is not by, it doesn't happen by accident. It happens by design. Okay, so you've got to make sure that you understand how to engineer that. Most people don't understand it. Here's what, here's what you need to understand. Here's the invisible part, okay? You've got this triangle. If you understand this triangle, right, you can, you, you can, do, you can do a lot of cool things, okay? This, this triangle here, you've got three points, okay? You've got your, you've got your audience, okay, or you've got your market. All right, you got your market, people that you know that you're serving. All right, the community that you're serving. You've got your. How do you get their attention? Right, you you get in their attention through some sort of an advertisement. Right, you got your ad over here. Second, and does anybody know what the third one is? Okay, what's the third one? Well, you've got your message. Okay. Write this down. I've learned this many, many years ago, and I never forgot it, okay? And I, and I, and I, and I, I mean, everything that I do kind of revolves around that idea. You wanna have message to market match, okay? And these are the, your, mes your message to market match through the ad, okay? Everything is going to start with the invisible. Think about it like this, okay? You've gotta, you know, okay? You got a tree. What's more important? What's more important, visible or invisible? Right? What's more important, the root or the fruit? Okay? Of course, the root. What's invisible is what's built below the soil. Okay? Easy to understand. Not a rocket science. Let's take a look at another one here. Okay? You've got, you know, 
Man, I'm just okay. Take ah. Uh, okay, let me let me give you another example. Here, okay, take a look at this. Okay, you've got you've got water, and then you've got this iceberg. Okay, what's visible is nothing compared to what's invisible. See what I'm saying? If this is the water, what you see above the water in that iceberg metaphor, this is nothing, man. It's like, you know, it's not even scratching the surface. This, the the invisible makes the whole thing, it makes the biggest difference, right? What, what's, what sank Titanic was not the visible, it was the invisible. You see what I'm saying? In your marketing, when you understand this and how to operate with this, and that's what I'm talking about here, okay? This is gonna be the start, okay? So, so let me tell you something here about that, okay? I don't, I don't have enough time to, you know, to, for us to really dig into the, uh, into the details, but make sure that your, 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 your traffic, okay, your audiences, Here's the thing. What most people are doing is they have this, um, they have this, this message, which is their offer. Okay, you can say this is the offer. Okay, the offer, and um, and they have this ad over here. Okay, so what they'll do is they'll bless this, they'll bless this offer uh, to the audience. Okay, whether it's whether it matches or not matches. Okay, or it doesn't match. So, so this is where we're talking about traffic generation strategies now, okay? So there is an invisible stuff going on be, behind your very first engagement point, which is generating your traffic. So when you get in your traffic, how do you build your email list? You build your email list by sending, sending traffic, okay, to your landing page, right? And so people opt in, you run an ad, and you build your list, okay? So this is where everything starts. Your invisible stuff is going to start way over here. Okay, the ads that you're putting out to get the traffic to your list. Does that make sense, everybody? Okay, so this is the invisible. This, if we understand this. So, so understanding that these people are looking for, you know, we talk about it a lot on this show, right? They're looking for a particular result, okay? They're, they're looking for a particular result over here, okay? So, so my knowing that, okay, I've got to make sure that my audience, my traffic that I'm going for, okay, my offer or the message is going to start resembling that, Okay, so I have a, a, a message to market match. Okay, make sure that your ad is congruent. Okay, like this. All right, and then this is congruent too. Okay, all of these things should be congruent. And, and all of this should be congruent with whatever the, the, the result is. Okay, everything. So this way, this way when, I, when I first get in traffic, this why if I don't control traffic generation, if I just let it, you know, let somebody else to get traffic for me, like some kind of a, you know, uh, somebody who's just gonna drive clicks to my site. And, you know, I might be getting like a thousand, a thousand clicks, but at the end of the day, I send an email to those a thousand clicks and, and I'm getting like tons of spam complaints, right? Tons of unsubscribers and very, very low email open rate. What that will do is that will trigger a downward spiral effect, all right? that if I get high complaints, if, if my message is not targeted, if, my, if I'm getting wrong audience in the first place, okay, my ESP, which is my email service provider, will put me on bad IP address, which we're gonna talk a little bit later about, okay? And, uh, and I'll, I'll never get my emails opened because they'll be going to filtered folders, spam folders, they might not even get delivered. Does that make sense? So make sure that the, you understand the invisible. How you get your traffic is more important than the amount of traffic you get. Just like how you make your money is more important than the amount you make, okay? How you get your traffic is more important than the, than, uh, than the amount of traffic you're getting. Does that make sense? Again, if you go to 4percent.com forward slash traffic, you can sign up for that master class. I'll dig into more, a lot more details like uh, on traffic generation conversion and all that stuff, okay? If you want to, of course. This is not a pitch for that. This is me like talking to you about real stuff. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes? We good so far? Okay, great. Now, second thing, all right? Second thing, point number two, is it will be your communication, okay? Communica communication style. Okay, your communication style. Here's what I mean by that. When most marketers have their list, okay, landing page, they got their list. That's like your business asset, yay, right? That's why I never, ever, ever allow anybody to type into my list. 
Never. Because this is gold, man. <laughs> if you have a gold, uh, a bucket of gold, right? Pure, solid gold. Would you just let anybody double into that? Would you let anybody just come and get it? Like, hey, let me have some gold, man. You're like, dude, you're crazy. I work too hard for this, right? You want to make sure that you protect it. This is what's going to pay. This is this right here. If you cultivate that, right, um, it's going to give you everything you want. But it's got to go both ways. It's got to. It's, it's a two-way. It's a two-way street. Okay. So we'll we'll talk about it. So so your people on your list, they have to get equal or more value from you than what you're getting from them as well, okay? So it's a win-win-win across the board. So here's the thing, okay? If I have most people, if they have this thing that they're promoting, so when somebody opted in, what most of them are doing, we talk about this, you know, diagram here almost on every, on every show, is most of your competitors, they're just hammering, hammering, hammering. Buy, 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 gets annoying. And then your people never open your email. You're conditioning them to not look at your stuff, okay? And then you're complaining. How come email doesn't work, <laughs> right? Because you only, you're hammering them with the same thing and you're getting annoying, right? Somebody annoys you, you'll just ignore them, right? So what happens is, what happens is, uh, is your emails start to fall on, fall on blind eyes and deaf ears, meaning that even though your people might get inboxed, or your emails in their inbox, they just, they just become like, they just ignore it. They, they don't even open it. So <laughs> that's why, you know, you, you know if, you, if you see some marketers are, are, are saying, hey, you've got to send out 50 emails per day, just hammer, 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 hammer. That's what the list for is hammering. Dude, you think, if you're thinking about numbers only, if you, if you treat a person as a number on your list, <laughs> that's why you're going to see a 2% email open rate. I never look at, at a list as a number. It, it, these are human beings. These are people with desires, with dreams that are looking for a particular result. Okay, and my job is to serve them, all right, and and build a relationship. And it's easier now than ever before because of what's going on in the industry, because of the noise, because of of all the craziness that's going on out there. You know what I mean? So what I want to do is I want to cultivate my garden. So that's why. I am a big, 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 huge proponent of separating yourself from the crowd, right? Where your, mo your competition is doing this, and you do what, right? You have your home on the internet. We talk about it, okay? Watch the previous shows. You know, this is also something I go into a lot more details on the, um, the Internet Traffic Mastery Masterclass, okay? That uh, uh, you guys haven't seen yet. You can check it out. Um, it's how to structure yourself because this right here, Okay, gives you a different level of communication. So what I want to have is I want to have, there's a pattern, right? If there's a pattern, if you're sending an email and it's a pitch, okay, it's a pitch, it's a pitch, it's a pitch, and every email is a pitch, 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 your emails are guaranteed to have very low open rate, an almost no click-through rate, if it's a pitch, 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 okay? What you can do is typically I want to have this going on, okay? I want to have... Immediately when they opt in, I'm going to do the pitch because that's what they opted in. Whatever that, 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 that thing is, the result is that the product can deliver, boom, I'm going, to, I'm going to send it to them. I'm going to say, hey, you just requested this. Whatever that thing is, boom, first email, pitch, okay? Not, not a hard pitch. But then I want to go straight into the content, 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 okay? And then maybe pitch, okay? I want to have at least a three to five or, or, or maybe like even five to one ratio, okay? Might be even like this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then pitch. Five to one ratio, keep it like that, okay? Your content, your value, should be value-driven value, value -driven content, can only be done and sustained through long-term because every one of these things become what? It becomes your asset in your business, right? So, so if you're doing the work anyways, like we talk about, you're doing the work, you're going to do the work regardless, either this way or this way. Okay, this is smart, this is dumb. <laughs> I'll just tell you like it is, okay? And so if you're doing the work anyways, you might as well start creating assets because somebody, okay, come into your inbox right here, okay, to, uh, to your list rather, okay? You wanna make sure that you understand your communication style because if this person comes into your world, they're also part of other people's worlds as well, okay, as marketers, and so, you want to make sure that you outcool your competition. And the easiest way to outcool your competition is to understand what you've got 
and follow the right model, the right blueprint that will help you win, okay? So if I do the work anyways for content content, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna load these things up into my autoresponder, okay, that as people are going, you know, somebody, somebody, this guy might be on this step right here, there, there might be a guy on this step right here. He's getting my second pitch. And again, those pitches can be mixed. And we talked about it on the, on the previous show. But you want to have a pattern of value. It's called value delivery pattern, right? Or, 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 or pitch to ratio or pitch to value pattern or pitch to value ratio rather, right? Um, and, and you just load these things up in the autoresponder and your people naturally, it's a big asset for your business. As you And then you just, again, you drive traffic like you normally do, right? Of course, learning traffic like I teach you or if you're learning from somebody else, go for it, whatever the case might be. Just make sure you're getting good traffic. I think I teach you the best traffic out there on the internet, man. <laughs> you guys know it, right? Uh, if you've been through my stuff, <clears throat> I teach you how to master traffic, how to speak the, the language of traffic, and I'm going to teach you how to really understand this marketing game so that naturally you don't have to, you don't have to sweat over it, man. You, it's just the way you structure it. It becomes your, your communication style, okay? Keep that in mind, okay? So we're going to go to the next one here. I wish I had more time, but I gotta, I gotta get, get going here. So I'm gonna. Um, Makes sense, everybody. Yes, makes sense. Good stuff. We got YouTube. You guys are on YouTube. Appreciate you. You guys on four percent.com. Appreciate the shares, you guys. Thank you so much for the shares. This is great. Okay. Okay. So. The invisible. You've got this moving part here. Okay, but this can be automated. Right? This is automated, this is automated. Another component is your, your actual ESP, okay? Email service provider. So this is like AWeber, GetResponse, Infusionsoft, Meropost, Sandlane, you know, Entreport. Um, you get the point, right? HubSpot, it, it's, the, it's a place that sends out your, your emails, okay? It's, your, it's, your, it's a place where you store your emails, right? It's your autoresponder. So your autoresponder plays a big role as well, okay? There are tons of different companies out there. Um, I'm just going to talk to you about it and make sure that you understand the process, okay? So if I want to have high email open rates, all these points will be valuable, okay? It will matter because I may have this dialed in. I may have this dialed in. But if I'm missing here, if I have a big giant hole here, Okay, if, if I have a crappy email service provider, if I want to be cheap, okay, a lot of people are like, how can I save the most money? How can I pay the least and get the most? And well, that's, uh, that's nice sounding, right, and everything. But my, one of my rules is this, never be cheap on your journey to greatness, okay? Do not, don't be cheap on your, on your journey to greatness. If you want to be great, there's a price for, for, for for being great. There's a price. Greatness does not come just because you wish to be great. Okay? Pro athletes, they pay the price. Their diet, their trainings, in, investing in the training, investing in their coaches, right? Personal coaches, they pay top dollar to get coached. Some of the top athletes, the, the Brady's of the world, the Michael Jordans of their time, right? The, 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 the LeBron's, the Colby's, you name it, right? Um, everybody has a coach and they pay top dollar to get the top coach. Why? Because they don't want to be cheap. They're afraid to be cheap on their journey to greatness. They never become great by trying to save money. Okay? You will never become great by trying to save in your business. Now, there are areas in your business where you can save a little bit of money. Yeah, sure. But there are some areas that you can just cannot afford to be cheap. You cannot afford to be cheap here because if you're doing the work and you're getting your emails, and your emails are going from a an email service provider. You know, there's a there's a few there's a few things. Okay, so so we're talking about delivery, overall delivery from email service provider. Okay, in many cases you you have you can you can you cannot do nothing about it. It'll just depend on the email service provider. Okay, another one would be IP reputation. Okay. These two will probably be the, the biggest one. Probably the biggest one will be this one, okay, is IP reputation. Because what happens here is um, there's a lot of cheap email, uh, email service providers out there. They advertise, hey, come in here. It's free. It's very low cost, blah, 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 right? And I have yet to see 
a really, really good, reliable email service provider that's like dirt cheap. Now, AWeber is not bad, okay? Get response is not bad. Um, Entreport is not bad. It's a little bit more expensive. It's got the CRM. Infusionsoft's got the CRM. Meropost is, Meropost has been actually great for email delivery. Now they're expensive, right? Um, you know, there's, there's, there's tons of them out there. What I'm, here's what I'll tell you, okay? You want to know your delivery, your overall delivery of your emails, okay? And what you can do here is talk to your email service provider and ask them this question. Say, hey, here's a little insider secret you guys don't know, okay? Almost every one of them, all the main ones out there anyways, right? All the main, one, uh, main email service providers out there, they have, um, they have different IPs from which the emails are being sent out, okay? So they have the crappy IP, they have the mid-level IP, and then they have the good IP addresses, right? So, uh, and it, depending on what you're doing, it depending on how you're initially, you know, they might put everybody on a bad IP or maybe mediocre IP. I think they put everybody on like mid-level IP just to kind of see what they'll do, especially the new clients. Uh, and then depending on what, you know, the, the response that you have coming in from your data and from your reporting from your emails, it will determine well, you, whether you go whether you go down or you go up under IPs, okay? So all these things will matter. And so what I, can, what I would do is when you sign up for an email service provider, only if you will do what, I will, what I'm suggesting you here, and, and you literally stick to the rules here, okay? You, you, you're not gonna try to bend the corners here because that's gonna bite you in the butt later, okay? Um, you can contact your email service provider and say, hey, is it possible for you to put me on a good IP? Now, when I say this publicly, I gotta, you know, I gotta disclaim this. I, y y y y there's a lot of people who will be watching this, right? So, like, I, I don't want to create a situation to where there's gonna be like influx of, you know, support tickets or phone calls to like AWeber and get response from people saying, "Hey, Vic told me to call you guys and, you know, and ask to put me on a on a good IP address." But know this, you wanna you wanna understand this, okay? Some email service providers, you know, third world, I say third world. <laughs> you know, some of them are like, you know, they're, 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 they're below, they're, they're not your main players, you know, let me just put it that way. Uh, I wouldn't even play with them. I would go for some, you know, for something that's kind of reliable, that's, that's out there, okay, that's got a lot of clients. Um, but be mindful of this, okay? Be mindful of this because that will actually, um, that will actually um, help you, okay, with actually getting your emails delivered. Make sense? I can I can talk about this alone for like two hours, you guys, but I've got to move on here. Okay, number four, what's going to help you get on a good IP address, okay, and get better delivery, assuming you have all this stuff, you know you're implementing all these ideas as well, it will, be, it will be this component. It will be this thing called list segmentation. Okay? List segmentation. This is really, really, really important. Okay? Really, really, really important. For example, if I have a list, okay? If I have list one here, and let's say this is me with like get response, okay? And I email these people, and I did not listen to Vic's tries use before, right? I'm like, well, I, I was just average. I was doing, doing what most people in my industry were doing, just hammering and just like killing my list, right? Killing those open rates, and you got like 2% open rates. So if you send out, if you send out 10,000 emails, most people are like, all right, I'm not gonna do 10,000, I only got 1,000 emails. Okay, fine, you send out 1,000 emails. Simple math, okay? You send out 1,000 emails. And you only got, let's say, you know, I don't know, maybe you got, you got 100 opens. Keep it simple, right? For, a, for 1,000 emails, you've got a, a 100, that's about a 10% open rate, right? 
uh, 100 people open, that means 900 people did not open. And if you keep hammering, keep hammering, keep hammering them, right? That means that 90% of your emails are not engaged. Okay, what's gonna happen? What's gonna, and then, and then you gotta consider, out of these 100 that actually opened, how many of them are, are, are marking your email as spam? How many are complaining? How many are unsubscribing? All those things matter, okay? So if you, if you just, if you play with this game right here, this is, let's say this is your, your scenario here, okay? And again, 10% open rate, is, it's like pretty good. You know, most people like 5% open rate, okay? Uh, what's gonna happen with this situation, with 90% being unengaged, okay? What's gonna happen is your email service provider will put you on a less than awesome IP address, okay? So they've got good, medium, and, gray, uh, 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 and, and crappy IPs, okay? So you wanna be on a good IP address because if you're getting this, it basically says that, hey, nobody cares about your emails, right? And, and plus, if you got people complaining, then you might be down to like another couple points, so maybe you're at 8% active engagement, right? That's not, a, that's not a really good thing. So I need to do something about this so that I can move myself to a better IP address, okay, with my email service provider. One way to do that, okay, through the e email list segmentation is this thing called, this, this method called re-engagement. The re-engagement method, okay? I do that, okay, I've done it many times. I've, I do that, and as a matter of fact, if you guys attend that, that Internet Traffic Mastery Masterclass, I really dive into a lot of details. I show you. I don't have the time for it, and I don't, right now we got to chop chop. But I show you. I mean, following this process that I'm literally showing you right now, I'm able to get sometimes up to 60, 70, even 80 percent email open rates. Like literally flipping this model upside down. Okay, teach you. I'm going to teach you how to do that if you want to. Okay, okay, good stuff. Yes. Okay. Here is what here is what I mean by re-engagement method. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create, this is autoresponder one, or ESP one, email service provider. Let's say this is my ESP one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself ESP two, okay? Again, this is going to require a little, bit of, a little bit of investment on your part, okay? This might be GetResponse and Aweber. It's just two different email autoresponders, okay? I just cannot have it in the same email autoresponder. Like I can create different lists and try to get people to resubscribe, but it would still, keep my account on a bad IP. Does that make sense, everybody? Right, so I wanna go to a better IP. So what I wanna do is I wanna have my general, okay, my general engagement, you know, your, your average, if you will, um, your working, you know, email service provider, okay? So if, if, if your situation is here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send an email once in a while, okay? I'm gonna send an email to these guys, or I can also, pro, you know, I can also um, automate this process so that it would happen automatically. And I would send them an email, and I would say, "Hey, you guys, go here. I've got something cool to give you." And basically, I'm, I'm sending them to a, a different landing page for something that they can get. Okay, can be a, a, a report, can be a little inner circle you're creating, can be a little training you're creating, can be a little re something that they would get excited about. Okay. And you get these people, okay, to resubscribe to your list two, okay, that would go to your, actually right here, okay, that would be from email service provider number two, okay? So you will have list number two, okay? So they opt in. You see what I'm saying here? So what you're doing is you're just basically filtering people over. So what's, what that will do is now that you know that if you have your, your main marketing right, campaign going here, you're getting traffic going to this list, whatever the, the industry, whatever, the, I'm, I'm hoping I'm making sense here, yes? Okay, great, great, see. Okay, then I'm gonna continue to send email to these people from different angles. I gotta be creative, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hey, this is an, an opt-in form from a different email service provider take them completely to a different world, okay, as far as that goes, and I will, I will resubscribe, I'm gonna re-engage my people 
to this. So, so that way what's going to happen is if I have 90% of unengagement here, I'm going to create something cool, something enticing, something engaging here, and my, you know, uh, I, I might be getting, when I email these people, my, my list over here is not going to be as big, okay? So maybe in this scenario, you know, if I do this over time, maybe a month, two months later, but I, I want to ideally want to have it set up on automation so that it just happens without me even engaging in that personally. I just set up as an email follow-up, right, on automation. And so, you know, I might have 500, okay, of these people here. Let's say if it, comparing to this scenario, it's like over time, okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm going to build it up to 500 actually highly engaged. So my email open rate here would be like, you know, uh, 60%, you know, or 50% or 70%, like I'm going to teach you uh, in the Internet Traffic Mastery class. So with that number, okay, I have a list that's not as big, but my engagement and my email open rate on, list, on that list is huge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact that ESP. I'm going to say, hey, put me on your better IP address, would you please? I have good statistics, good data, good stats, right? So you have good engagement going on. So you're using this to get to that, but this becomes your really true pot of gold. This becomes you like, how do you dig for gold? You dig for gold, you know, back in the gold, uh, uh, you know, gold rush days, right? Um, the people move through a lot of dirt, right? Picks and shovels and people are digging through a lot of dirt and oh my goodness, you found a little gem over here. Oh, you put that in a little, you know, you put it in the pot, right? You put it in, the, in, the, in your little, in your little uh, bucket, right, that you collect in gold. Kind of something like that happens here, right? You go through a lot of, a lot of filtration over here, right, to get to the real gems. And then you really nurture, really engage with these people. Now, if you have a list that hasn't been as engaged, you can do that process, apply the re-engagement method, and, you, and you'll, be, you know, you'll be on your way. Make sense? Okay. Now, second thing I can do is this. Okay, part of this process. Okay, uh, I can I can re um, re engage re engage on in unengaged. <laughs> okay, can we say that re engage unengaged? Okay, let's just leave it at that. Here's what I mean by this. If I send out an email to this list of 1,000, okay, and only 100 people responded, what I need to do is I can, I can follow up in two days or the next day. I, can I, can, I, you know, I usually keep it about two days apart. Uh, I'm going to follow up another email, and I'm going to say, hey, email everybody who did not open my email. Okay, so this is called, uh, let's get, it's part of the segmentation. That's how you segment. You're going to re-engage, unengaged. Okay? Uh, so, so if 100 people go here, so they opened it, okay? So then, like, a day later or two days later, I'm going to follow up with another email, but that will only go out to 900 that did not open. Does that make sense? i got to get chopping you guys here. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes? So now, I'm not... Aggr aggravating people, right? I'm not making people, you know, I'm not pissing people off with the same stuff over and over again, these 100, okay? But I can communicate with those that did not open my email. It's called, you know, every email autoresponder should have that method where you can just segment people that did not open your email or did not click on a link, whatever the case might be, the rules, you can set those. But you want to re-engage the unengaged, and this is how you can continue to tap into that list without making these guys pissed, okay? All right, and then the third one here under list segmentation is regular cleanup. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Okay, that's what I have set up on my emails as well, every one of them. Okay, with every ESP, and I have multiple ESPs going on. I'm constantly split testing one against against each other to see what the delivery IP addresses are and just overall engagement, and because I know my averages, right? Um, again, that's how you get great, dude. <laughs> Pay the price, man. You just like average people don't do that, and that's why they're complaining. And they're like, "Ah, my goodness, dude, this business stuff sucks because it doesn't work." You don't work. That's why it sucks, right? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the other guy. Okay. So look, what I what I have my email set, every one of them is this. I said, "Hey, I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to I'm going to you know deploy the re-engagement method, the 
re-engage the unengaged method, right? I'm going to do this, right? I understand this. I'm getting, I'm doing good stuff, right? I'm doing solid work. I'm having solid systems in place. Now, there's going to be a percentage of people that will not respond no matter what, okay? They're just not responding, okay? They're dead. So what I'm going to do, hang on one sec here, I'm going to... Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do, okay, sorry about that. I just want to make sure that we don't have anything that's super important. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set a rule, okay, write this down. I'm going to set a rule with my, with my email service provider within my account. I'm going to say, hey, anybody that's on my list or in my contacts, okay, that did not open an email from me in the last and you set the date, last 90 days, last 180 days, last year, I wouldn't go that far. You know, I would keep it to maybe 90 days, okay? Anybody that did not open an email from me in the last 90 days, and all this time, you know, I'm communicating with, with them, right? I'm communicating, I'm have, I have these automations, and, you know, and emails are going out. I'm trying to re-engage them and try to get them to re-engage again. I'm trying to, you know, do all that stuff. I'm, I'm doing this right here to them. But they're just, they did not open a single email in 90 days. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a cleanup, right? So that automatically, if they did not engage with me, with my emails within 90 days, I'm going to have the autoresponder remove that contact permanently from my list. Just remove them. They're dead as far as that is concerned, as far as engagement is concerned, right? They're still probably alive. Heck, maybe, 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 they're, you know, maybe somebody passed away or something. I mean, that's life, right? <laughs> Things happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a cleanup process happening regularly. For me, it's every 90 days. It, it's, a, it's a rolling 90-day period, okay? So, and it happens automatically. I set it up with every email I have, uh, every email autoresponder I have. That way, you know, I'm removing people that are just, just not engaging at all, okay? So this does a couple things. This increases your engagement. It gives you better chance to be on, a, on better IP addresses, okay? It reduces your, your, your autoresponder monthly payment, okay, because you're paying, in most cases, for contacts, right? So if you have a lot of dead contacts out there that are not engaging for you, you still have to pay for that weight, but they're, 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 just, they're, they're, they're not doing anything, right? So I want to remove them. So I want to make room for new ones, right, that I don't have to increase my, my monthly cost on my ESP. Does that make sense? So it does, it does a, lot of, a lot of different things. So this, you guys, is called list segmentation, okay, just three basic basic things there. Make sense? Okay. Here is something else I want to do. Okay. <clears throat> I want to have, and again, if you do these, all of these combined, I guarantee your email open rates will be a lot higher. Okay. If you work with me long enough, and if you learn from me long enough, and if you apply what I'm going to teach you, I think I can, I think I can, I can teach you how to get north of 50% email open rates. Okay. I'm not sure if you're going to apply what I'm going to teach you, though, that is, okay? Number four, number five, right? We're number five. So I'm going to do this. If I have an email, okay, this will be my, uh, let's say this multi-channel, multi multi-channel, um, multi-channel uh, communication, multi-channel engagement. I say probably multi-channel engagement. Okay, here's what, I mean by, well, here's what I mean by this. You've got your social media channels here, right? You've got your main email list here, which is your business asset. But then you've got these other channels, right? You've got, um, what do you got? You've got direct mail, right? You've got SMS. You know, maybe you've got, what, what else? You've got um, uh, bots, all right, these days. You've got all these different other things. I'm just thinking off the top of my head, right? So here's what I want to do. I want to utilize all of these other channels that are available to me, okay? And I want to engage my person, okay, my, my subscriber, to the best of my ability across different platforms here, including direct mail once in a while, 
including SMS messages, including all these different things that are coming out. And with the whole purpose, okay, hear me out, with the whole purpose of creating connection and driving them back to here, all of these things are reinforcing the communication here. And this happens from where? Can you, can you guys tell me from where? We're talking about your home, right? Your, your main channel of communication happens from your home. Okay, so you drive them home. You drive people home. People go, people go to sleep. You should be sleeping in your home, right? Does that make sense? So all of these channels. So, so one way that we do this is like, for example, a lot of you guys are on SMS messages, right? So uh, on our SMS list. Okay, so my home that I'm building here, and this is more than home. This is like an entire skyscraper that we're building that, you, that a lot of you guys can have condos in. You know, metaphorically speaking, um, your businesses and, and w you know, all of a, it's a win-win situation. But it's a 4%, okay? So the 4% of what we have inside is, con is considered to be the, this big skyscraper that we're building together, okay? This is our home. Now, within that, if you think a skyscraper, a 100-story building or whatever, right, there is condos, right? Three-bedroom apartment, two-bedroom apartment, one-bedroom apartment, all these different things, uh, all these different, you know, residential thing is could be your businesses like you could be leveraging the big skyscraper called the four percent to build your business in and thrive okay the whole thing is going to look absolutely magnificent okay beautiful attractive and so what we're doing here is we have an sms um pool that people can subscribe to to receive sms notifications right a lot of you guys receive that um so this re-engages people from a different channel okay um, we're going to be doing some direct mail, okay, campaigns. Uh, we've done it in the past, okay. Uh, it, it works great. So it's basically, it's, it's, it, it, you know, you're, you're touching people from different channels, from different communication. That creates, uh, ultimately what it does, it, 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 it strengthens your internal communication method, which is ultimately going to be your email. Why? Email in of itself is nothing more than just a medium of communication. But there is a thing behind the email. There is the invisible behind the email, and that is what? There is the relationship, okay? So everything that I do ha is, is going to be centered around me building a relationship with you. And I will be completely transparent with you, and you should model that, okay? So if you have, uh, if you're doing that in your business, building a relationship, that goes back to my point, like, you still open your emails from your friends, right? Somebody that you know and care about sent you an email, are you going to ignore it? Chances are probably not, okay? Somebody sent you a text message. By the way, inside 4%, we'll be teaching you, uh, and in, you know, part of the resources is how do we send out global, you know, uh, SMS messages? You know what I mean? Like, people can be in any country, and we can engage them there. Like, a lot of, the, a lot of people are just doing it, like, locally in their country. Um, you know, we'll deliver resources that we use that allows us to communicate with people globally, literally in virtually every country you know, in the world. Uh, and, you know, we're doing, a, you know, we're doing a, a big social media campaigns that I'll be teaching you guys in, you know, in, in great details, um, you know, in some of our insider programs there in 4% that you will see, right? Uh, but I'm teaching you what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? And you should be modeling this kind of stuff for your business with, again, everything you do is building towards one thing, getting closer to your prospect, getting closer to your, to your you know, to, to, you know, to that guy or gal who is paying attention to you because you're your competition. Make sense? Okay. So multi-channel engagement is, is important, but again, you want to understand the invisible and why are you doing that and with what, you know, with what purpose. Okay. Um, what's number six? Okay. What's number six? Sorry, I have full con Okay, I, I really got to jet out. Okay. Everything you guys do, okay, through this process, this being a you know part of the equation, this right here, oh, the invisible, this, everything, okay, should be based on this. Deliver value. Okay? Bottom line, end of the story. If you deliver value, you will have high email open rates. You say, oh, Vic, what if, I, what if I'm new? I'm doing affiliate marketing. I'm trying to make my buck over here, and I don't have a lot of value to deliver. What do I do? Align with somebody who can help you deliver value. You become 
you become a reporter, you become a connector between, you become a connector, you know, this is, this is your audience right here, and this is value here, okay? And you become the middleman, all right? You connect, you connect your audiences, okay, with value over here. Why did we build 4% as a platform, okay? Stuff like what I'm doing right now. See what I'm saying? You don't have to, like a lot of our people, a lot of people in 4% that I learned, a lot of you guys right here, you're learning from me, yes, right? A, a lot of you guys are coming to these shows and, you know, and you're getting great value, right? So if you have a list that you're building in the same industry, do you realize that you can leverage what we do here? If you, once you have an account with 4%, you can leverage, you can share the 4% on air, these shows, any content that we have on 4%.com from the members area. Uh, free programs, paid programs, majority of our stuff is free, right? Um, and you can become a connector, literally connect your audience to value and therefore indirectly increasing your value and deliver value. You see, you're not hammering. Like where your most, your, your competition, they'll just hammer, hammer, hammer and there is no value. It's just buy, buy, buy. Okay, you don't want, like your buy, buy, buy pitch should be like 5%. 95% should be value. That's how you crush your competition. That's how you, you know, you, you decide what, how big you want your check to be and you just grab it, right? But your overnight success will proceed by planting and nurturing your garden, right? Taking out the weeds, you know, and this is how you take out the weeds right here, right? The cleanup process, segmentation. In other words, doing the work but what I'm teaching you here is what you do today should be an extension from what you did yesterday. You should never spin your wheels staying in one same spot, okay? So automation, everything that you do should be strategic like I teach you all the time, right? And, uh, you know, and, um, and that's how you engineer. And over time, you know, 30 days, six days, guess what? The time is gonna go by no matter what. Right, six months is gonna go by no matter what. If you do what you can, if you continue to do what you're doing now, guess what? In three months, where are you gonna be at? Same spot you're in today, right? But if you start pivoting right now, that two degree difference, that five degree difference, that that six degree difference, my goodness, your ship later over 90 days, six months, that's gonna go by no matter what. If you start implementing what I'm teaching you right now, especially if you go through our programs, Internet Traffic Master, you get e-stage, you you position yourself for for greatness. And then you do things that will result in you becoming great, okay? You're gonna be totally on a different pl uh, playing field than, your, comp your, than your, your competitors, all right? So hopefully that makes sense, you guys. I've got a jet out, appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in, okay? Appreciate all of you guys here. Always great hanging out with you. I will be seeing you again um, at our next episode. We hang out together every week. Tuesday and Thursday. If you're brand new here, welcome. Uh, that's what we do. We talk about ideas. I give you, you know, as much value as I as I possibly can in the in the short amount of time that we have here together. But uh, hey, feel free to continue to, you know, come back and listen to these, watch these episodes. And if you haven't signed up for four percent account yet, go ahead and sign up. We have an incredible um, educational platform here that we're building. We're building the world's largest entrepreneur network in existence. It's gonna require a lot, of, a lot of effort. It's gonna require a lot and lots of dedication, and we have both, okay? So we're committed, you guys, to providing, helping you become great, and then with your help, helping other people become great as well. Appreciate you, God bless. I'll see you next time. Cheers.